Hello everybody, it is our third New Book Tuesday Kid Edition video. I'm Andrea. And I'm Laura. We're here to tell you about some great new books. What do you got, Laura? Well, I have a very exciting new book, Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer, who has written Ooh. several amazing series. Indeed. Renegades. This is about a girl who suddenly gets the ability to give the people around her instant karma. Mm. I don't know about you, but if I got that power, I'd be thinking about whether I was going to use it for good or evil. You'll have to see what she decides to do with it. <laughs> well, we're starting with some nonfiction for the kids. And we have a couple new books on reindeer. And because it's nonfiction, these books are full of facts. The truth about reindeer. <laughs> Come and get it here. In fact, one of them starts out with the question about whether or not reindeer pull Santa's sled. And it's answered honestly. We have another animal duo of books we got in, but this time, it's the beloved unicorn. <laughs> First of all, we have this book called Unicorn Lovers Only. And it's a full of interesting uh, trivia. And it says facts, history, <laughs> mythology, and more. So if you've got a unicorn lover at home, they might enjoy this book. They I think they're either going to love or hate the other one. It's actually a graphic novel called Grumpy Unicorn. It's the answer to all the super happy, pink, fluffy, sparkly unicorns out there. Good old Grumpy Unicorn. He's saying, why me? Because he lost his ice cream. But that's okay. He doesn't like ice cream anyway. <laughs> Apple, Skin to the Core, is by Eric Gansworth, an Onondaga writer who is writing his own story. It's in verse, partially, I opened up to a non-verse page, but so it's, it's a really poetic kind of memoir about him and his community and his family and his journey. It's very exciting. I love the cover art. Yeah. Slice it's that right. apple right up. And look, there's a person there. Oh, cool! The core is him! Yeah. Oh, that's awesome! I love it. Well, I'm not sure if I said Grumpy Unicorn was a graphic novel, but it is. And the reason why I wanted to point that out is because we got some other great graphic novels that might be new to some of our kids. One of them is actually the second and third book in this little series called Akisi. And um, they're called More Tales of Mischief and Even More Tales of Mischief. <laughs> but actually these are um, representations of the author's experience as growing up in Africa in an urban setting. And her whole goal was to present um, that experience as something relatable to anybody um, and to make um, Africa a more familiar place to others in the world. But they are graphic novels and they're great, great fun. Another set of graphic novels we got in are the beginning books in the series, Johnny Boo. Johnny Boo is a ghost, as you can well see, <laughs> and he's the main character. Johnny Boo Twinkle Power, Johnny Boo and the Happy Apples, Johnny Boo and the Little Mean Boy. Johnny has a sidekick, and he's a ghost squiggle. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Anyway, if you have a, a younger child interested in graphic novels, this might be a great place to start or another kind that you can give it. Over in Teen, we've got a graphic novel adaptation of 
an amazing book, Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. This is the graphic novel version, and it's very, hmm, it's a very good interpretation of the novel, which is a novel in verse, and a lot of the same words are in here, but you also get to see the action. There's some interesting things going on in the drawings. It's pretty great. The drawings are beautiful too. They're very painterly. They look like yeah. uh, little mini watercolors. Yes, they do. It's gorgeous. Uh, the seventh in a series is here by Rose Lagerkrantz. This series is about Danny. She's the little main character, but it's about her and her friend. This would be a great book to recommend to fans of Ivy and Bean. They're a little chunkier and meatier, although still in that sort of early chapter book arena. And it really just deals with Danny and her friendships and growing up. So there's, it's a slice of life kind of series. What would you do if the world was ending? That's what's happening in this book. I hope you get this message. Aliens have shown up and they've said, okay, Earth is going to be destroyed. And these characters have to face the end of the world in a couple days, but there are some things that they want to clear up or finish up or get done before that happens. So it's about their journeys. Some of them are trying to talk to family members. Some of them are just trying to, you know, do the things they always wanted to do. Aha, uh -huh. squeak it all in before it's over. Yep. We have some new picture book fiction from Jory John, the maker of The Good Egg and the Bad Seed, we have The Couch Potato. <laughs> I don't know how many more of these books he has up his sleeve, but they're great fun. If you want a good laugh and have fun with words, take a peek at The Couch Potato. And by Raymond Antrobus, we have Can Bear Ski. This is realistic fiction in a picture book. Our little main character here keeps listening to people who are talking to him and he thinks they're asking them if bears can ski. Of course they're not. It turns out that he has a minor hearing loss and so what you can maybe see pictured here are his little hearing aids. So this is great for any young kid who's undergoing um, a change in their physical experience or adapting to something new in their world. And we have some nonfiction picture books too. This one's called You Poop Here. <laughs> and it's a great book for uh, potty training time or simply just for information because it really does talk about different animals and, and where they go to the bathroom. For example, on a rock, in the air, in the water. And of course, it's all related back to where humans go to the bathroom or are learning to, or should. <laughs> One of the books I'm most excited about is called Sound. And it's subtitled, Shh, Bang, Pop, Boom. Sound is a beautiful look at sound. <laughs> Not only sound, but all the other parts to it. Silence, the way sound is made, how you hear it. It's really fascinating. And no small part of it are the beautiful bright illustrations, which are really quite phenomenal. It, <laughs> it even talks about the lack of sound and how one still communicates um, with the American Sign Language system in it. I think it will be not only fascinating for its facts, but visually appealing for its stunning illustration. I have here two teen books that are set in contemporary times, but are doing something interesting with storytelling or flashbacks to a different time period. This book, How It All Blew Up, 
is the main character telling the story of what happened to a customs and border enforcement agent after he and his family got taken off a plane for having a fight. Ooh. It all started because he came out to his family and then ran away to Italy. As you do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and ended up with him having to tell this story. How he gets there is a long, exciting journey with a lot of twists, but it's definitely worth finding out. Bad, Bad and Dangerous to Know is about a girl who's in Paris, who's kind of figuring out her life, you know, what she wants to do, who she wants to be, and she finds a journal of someone in a similar situation 200 years earlier. Ooh, great concept. Yep, and it talks about the different historical figures that she may have met, this, this girl from 200 years ago, including Mad, Bad, and Dangerous to Know Lord Byron. Aha! Uh -huh. As well as Alexander Dumas and Ooh. some other interesting people. <laughs> Very exciting and very richly detailed. As always, we have many, many more new books than just this. So feel free to give us a call at 328-7010. And we'll put them on hold for you, schedule you for a curbside pickup, or you could place a hold via LinkCat. If you don't know what you want, Call us and we can pick out books for you. It's one of our favorite things to do. It is. Please call and we hope to see you soon.